really well done. Good afternoon and welcome. I am Steve Johnson. I'm the president of UPMC Susquehanna, and I thank all of you for joining us here this afternoon on this very special occasion, especially those elected officials and our colleagues who traveled so far to be with us here to help us celebrate this important milestone. So let me uh, begin with a special uh, shout out, a special welcome to those elected officials who uh, are here with us today. Uh, uh, first, Senator Eugene Yaw, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for all your support for what you've done over many years. Thank you also to uh, our local Lycoming County Commissioners, uh, Jack McKernan and Rick Marabito, I believe are here. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for all of your support from Lycoming County over the many years as well. And then finally, uh, Mayor uh, Gabriel Campana. Dr. Campana uh, has been the mayor here uh, during several development cycles for the Susquehanna and um, Divine Providence Hospital and the Williamsport Hospital. And uh, we really appreciate uh, the leadership that he has provided to this host community uh, for these two hospitals. So thank you again, uh, Mayor Campana. We have uh, a couple of representatives also from Senator Scarnati's office. Now, I know that uh, Senator Scarnati wanted to be here and join his good friend, uh, Senator Yaw. Uh, he could not be here personally, but he did send uh, two of his uh, most valued emissaries, Mark Adams and Deb Rudy, to be here with us today. So thank you very much for being here as well. Also, a very special thank you to those who will be joining me here on the podium a little bit later. Uh, first, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Romoff, the president and CEO of UPMC. Let's give him a really big round because he's my boss. Actually, that's not really quite true. He's my boss's boss's boss. So uh, that makes him really uh, way up there for me. So I appreciate that warm welcome. Uh, Leslie Davis. Uh, Ms. Davis is the UPMC Senior Vice President and UPMC Health Services Division Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President. That's a long title, does a wonderful job, responsible for 42, 43 hospitals now uh, across the UPMC system. Thank you very much for being here, Leslie. Dr. Stephen Shapiro has one of the toughest jobs in the entire UPMC organization. He is the executive vice president for the entire system, 85,000 people strong. Uh, he's uh, the chief medical officer and chief scientific officer for the entire organization. And he's the president of the UPMC uh, Health Services Division. So good to have you here with us as well, Steve. Thank you. And finally, and um, uh, maybe uh, most importantly to me personally, because uh, she is the chair of our regional board, and that is uh, Chairwoman Ann Pepperman, uh, member of the UPMC Board of Directors uh, and uh, Chairwoman of the UPMC Susquehanna Regional Board of Directors. Thank you very much for being here. So thank you all for those very warm welcomes. For more than 140 years, partnerships have been a crucial part of the success of UPMC Susquehanna. Partnership examples like those between the medical staff and the nursing staff, uh, between our board of directors and community leaders, um, between our management team and the Sisters of Christian Charity, to name just a few. Now, our partnership with UPMC has strategically positioned us for the future to make a robust investment in our clinical staff, our leadership family, and our facilities, and to guide our next chapter of delivering the right services at the right place, in the right time, and at the right price. Today, we celebrate our second anniversary with UPMC, and it is with considerable pride in, and enthusiasm that I report to you today that patients now more than ever are at the core of everything we do. We combine the strength of both UPMC and Susquehanna Health to take Susquehanna's 25-year promise to deliver the art of caring and science of healing to new levels across the entire regional community. 
With the support of UPMC during the past two years, we've recruited, for example, over 150 physicians and advanced practice professionals, some of the brightest in the country. This is the highest two-year average in our entire 140-year history. Uh, the net retention has been over 80 providers during this time. Just truly an extraordinary two-year period and many more to come. We've increased our contributions to the region's financial health. Last year, Susquehanna Network of Hospitals, Physician Office, Nursing Homes, Home Health and Hospice Services, and Outpatient Centers added over 200 jobs to the region and generated over $1 billion in economic impact across our 12 counties. But more importantly, more importantly, we created more local access to more medical and surgical specialties, including advanced cancer services for women, advanced pain management and, and spinal surgery, acute care trauma surgery, special heart and vascular services, new neurosurgical, surgical, and uh, uh, I knew I was gonna stumble over that, uh, new neurosurgical services. Too many S's in that, we'll have to work on that for the next time. Um, robotic assisted surgical techniques in several different specialties and more than a half a dozen different telemedicine services to name just a few. And last year, UPMC Susquehanna was named to the nation's top 15 health systems by IBM Watson Health. Now the IBM Watson Health Organization examined over 2,500 hospitals and health systems across the nation and determined that in the aggregate, the UPMC Susquehanna division had shorter lengths of stay for its patients, fewer complications and infections, lower overall cost, and higher patient satisfaction than over 99% of the organizations evaluated. This year, yes, thank you. This year, the UPMC Susquehanna Comprehensive Community Cancer Program, uh, located at Divine, was selected as one of the best in Pennsylvania as well. This past summer, we were informed that we will be receiving commendations in all seven survey categories, something only two other hospitals have done in the state of Pennsylvania, and fewer than 40 have achieved across all 50 U.S. states. A remarkable accomplishment as well. Organizational growth is also continuing. Last fall, we welcomed Lock Haven and Sunbury Community Hospitals into our organizational family. Prior to joining us, services at both organizations had been cut dramatically, and both hospitals were being threatened with closure. Today, major improvements in quality and safety have already been completed. New staff have been hired, and facilities are being improved as we speak, and their financial turnarounds are nearly complete. More importantly, though, the citizens of Clinton and Northumberland counties that host those two hospitals will now enjoy the world-class services made available by UPMC. And this past spring, Cole Memorial in Potter County joined our regional network as well. Cole is a strong critical access hospital located um, north and west of us here who believed at the time that a transition to a full member of the UPMC family was the right thing to do for their community, and we believe it as well. Today, in addition to saying thank you to all those whose hard work, entrepreneurial spirit, and philanthropic hearts have helped make this past two years possible, we will also unveil an exciting UPMC-enabled future for healthcare right here in Williamsport. Specifically, we will announce two special projects designed to expand and elevate the delivery of cancer care in the region and bring life-changing, advanced critical care and comprehensive physical medicine and rehabilitation right here to North Central Pennsylvania as well. But first, it is my pleasure to welcome 
Chairwoman Ann Pepperman to speak more about our successful partnership with UPMC and what our bright future holds. As many of you know, Ann has practiced law here at Williamsport for over three decades and is a partner in the McCormick Law Firm, where she is widely considered to be one of the most accomplished transaction attorneys in the region. She has served on several corporate and healthcare boards, including UPMC Susquehanna, uh, Susquehanna Physician Services, UPMC, Lycoming College, Lycoming County Planning Commission, to name just a few. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Ann Pepperman. Good afternoon. Thank you, Steve, for those very nice comments. And it's not even time for your performance evaluation. I'm very <laughs> impressed. And thank you to our elected officials, community leaders, service partners, that's Susquehanna Speak for employees, and other invited guests who have joined us today for this celebration. As Steve said, we are celebrating what we have accomplished in the last two years, as well as what we will be accomplishing in the future. I'm here to share with you some thoughts on the change in the landscape that two years has made. What a difference being part of UPMC has made for Susquehanna Health and its patients. So I ask you, if you would, walk back with me a little over two years to the spring and summer of 2016 and see how things have changed. Two years ago, before UPMC, our patients had access to 300 physicians. Now, as part of UPMC, our patients have access to 4,800 physicians, many of whom are doing groundbreaking research in things like genomics, immunotherapy, regenerative medicine, and brain disorders. Two years ago, we found that we had to send many of our patients out of the area for specialty care, which was something we really didn't want to do. We wanted to treat our patients here where they lived and worked. Now we can treat most, many of those patients here through our own specialty services, in part by these many physicians that Steve mentioned we have been able to recruit, but also by UPMC physicians based elsewhere in Pennsylvania who come here to treat our patients. And I'm very excited about both of these developments, but I'm particularly pleased that physicians are coming here to bring the specialty care rather than taking our patients to them. That to us is very important. Two years ago, we were a modest-sized regional healthcare organization with four hospitals. Today, we are seven hospital system within UPMC, and we are a part of a family of over 40 academic, specialty, and community hospitals. Before UPMC, two years ago, we were delivering healthcare in two counties primarily, like Cumming and Tioga. Now, with the resources made available to us by UPMC, we are delivering health care services in 12 counties. Two years ago, before UPMC, Susquehanna employed approximately 4,000 employees. Now we are part of a health system with over 85,000 employees and the largest private employer in the state of Pennsylvania. And we are very proud to be part of them, and we are part of a $19 billion healthcare provider and insurer. I, I sometimes can't get my mind around $19 billion, but before UPMC, we reinvested several million dollars into our community. As part of UPMC, we are contributing to what they now generate as $900 million in community benefit, and their economic impact throughout the state of Pennsylvania is $30 billion. Two years ago, affordable health care was a challenge for our employees and patients. Now, with the UPMC health plan, there are over 13,000 covered lives in our region, and we are very proud to be part of the number one ranked health plan in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania with 3.4 million members. In short, together we are achieving what were one of the primary goals of our decision to affiliate with UPMC expanding access to affordable, high-quality health care in our community for the benefit of all of our patients. And now, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you a gentleman I have come to know 
and admire greatly over the past two years as a member of the UPMC Board of Directors in Pittsburgh. This gentleman is a true visionary, a leader in healthcare, not just in Pennsylvania, but throughout the United States. He's a man who embraces the disruptors that are changing the face of healthcare in our community in order to bring us a new model of healthcare for the centuries to pass. He is an individual with great integrity, and this may sound like an understatement to those who know him, he's a bit dynamic. So without more, we welcome Jeff Romoff. needs to be another step in there. <laughs> Anne did the same thing. Thank you very much, Ann. Thank you, Steve. Thank you to the Board of Directors of UPMC Susquehanna. Thank you to the elected officials. And thank you to all of you who have joined us in this very celebratory occasion. Anne and Steve talk about us joining together in 2016. But this process began for Susquehanna Hospital then, I believe in 2014. There is truly no more important decision that a board of directors of a major hospital can make for itself, for its institution, and for its community than whom it chooses to partner with. This partnership is an extraordinary trusting relationship. Uh, and indeed trusting the future of the institution and the community. And we are exceptionally pleased to have been chosen. It was a diligent, highly analytic procedure, and I remember several of the board members coming to visit um, me and my colleagues in Pittsburgh, and I don't look back with warmth at this occasion. <laughs> it was a serious drilling, and uh, request for assurances that we will do no harm and indeed do a lot of good. And I am very, very pleased that both Steve and Anne have said such wonderful things about what UPMC was able to bring to this community. But let me turn this around a bit and say what UPMC Susquehanna has been able to bring to UPMC as a larger system. You have an extraordinary hospital. You have an extraordinary community. You have extraordinary workers and staff. And that, in and of itself, makes UPMC a better place. Also, your leader, Anne, and your CEO, Steve, are exceptional individuals. Anne, who is on the UPMC board, is not by any stretch of the imagination a shrinking violet. <laughs> and uh, we at UPMC, birthed in Western Pennsylvania, have been accused, and I'm sorry to say at times justifiably so, as being Western Pennsylvania centric. And will not permit that for more than one sentence in a two hour meeting. I know always where Susquehanna and Central Pennsylvania is, what its priorities are, and she affirms those priorities in every meeting and in every private conversation. And Steve, in addition to being your CEO, is one of our leading and most senior CEOs in the UPMC system. Moreover, Steve is on the board of the Hospital Association of Pennsylvania and the American Hospital Association. He now, only, now not only represents Susquehanna, but he represents the whole UPMC system, and we are very pleased. Furthermore, Steve is exceptionally well positioned in central Pennsylvania and across the nation, and he becomes an advocate and an ambassador for UPMC, and we are always comfortable to send Steve out to meet with people and to add credibility to us with potential other organizations that will join us. Most importantly, we have not prior to Susquehanna really entered into central Pennsylvania. Altoona 
is kind of at the borderline of Western Pennsylvania with one leg in Central. But Susquehanna is profoundly Central Pennsylvania and proudly so. And when we were privileged to have Susquehanna join us, we soon followed with Pinnacle and nine hospitals south of Pinnacle. So we are now firmly and not alone entrenched in central Pennsylvania. And with the experience of Susquehanna and Pinnacle, we intend to move further eastward, uh, trying our best to avoid Philadelphia. <laughs> and on that word, <laughs> Let me thank you all again for coming. Let me thank you for the privilege of being here. And let me introduce my colleague and the Chief Operating Officer of the Health Services Division, Leslie Davis. I was warned about, I was warned about that last step. Good morning, good afternoon. How's everybody? Good, good. Thank you, Jeffrey and Anne and Steve. Thank you so much. Your leadership has been amazing. And you work so closely with the great folks in this room, your community, your hospitals, your patients, all of your employees, and your community. And we are so proud of that and excited to celebrate this two-year mark with you. I can't believe it was two years ago that we raised the flag. Everybody remember that? UPMC's successful track record of hospital affiliations over 20 years, probably over 30 years, demonstrates our commitment to ensuring that our patients can remain in their wonderful communities. And this is a great example of this. And so we're needed. We will work with you, and you've heard some examples of that over the last few minutes, to recruit new physicians to this community, whether they be primary care docs or specialists, and we can expand access on site and grow and continue to add new services. So my job today, which is about three minutes, is just to list for you some of the accomplishments that have taken place over the last two years that represent your grouping of seven hospitals, and I know some of you are here in the audience today. So here in Williamsport, which is a beautiful campus and a beautiful setting, we have recruited a premier trauma surgeon guiding our trauma care transformation. Who would have thought that we would be keeping all of our trauma patients right here in Williamsport. So exciting. At Soldiers and Sailors, we've added advanced cancer care and cardiology. And by the way, Soldiers and Sailors is leading our patient transformation work at UPMC. And some of you I recognize, and I know you were at our session at the Convention Center, so I'm glad to see you guys here today. At Muncie, we've expanded emergency and surgical services, and we've added new primary care docs. At Lock Haven, as Steve mentioned, one of our newer hospitals, we've added orthopedics, new surgical services, and we're also renovating our emergency department and our operating rooms. At Divine, I love the name, um, the Hillman Cancer Center is coming, adding to the existing services that are already performed on that great campus. And another new hospital, Sunbury, I love these names. We've expanded general surgery, ENT and occupational medicine. At Mikkel Hatton, which Steve told me is also AKA Bald Eagle, that's what I was calling it for about a year, um, we've repurposed that existing retail space and set up a beautiful outpatient center, and you all should be very proud of that. And Charles Cole, I know someone's here from Cole, we're glad to have you. That's a great example where we can leverage our partnerships. Charles Cole was part of Hammett for many years and still is, and now is part of the Susquehanna family. So that's a great example of how, with scale, we even get bigger and better. The UPMC Health Plan and Healthy Partners were working with local employers to improve the health of all of their employees. So it's only been two years, 
but we've accomplished so much, it's incredible. And as Ann mentioned, UPMC provides more than 900 million a year in IRS-defined community benefits. In the past two years alone, UPMC Susquehanna itself has provided more than 44 million in community benefits. So we grow, we get bigger, we hire more people, we create more jobs, we take care of tons of patients, and we keep giving back to our communities. And with that, I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Stephen Shapiro, Executive Vice President, Chief Medical and Scientific Officer of UPMC, and the President of the UPMC Health Services Division. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Wow, it really has been two years. It's hard to imagine. So much has been accomplished in this short time. Although I don't want to diminish the great care that the hospital and the physicians have delivered to this community for many decades before that. But as you know, it's getting very difficult to deliver care, particularly complex specialty care, outside of large urban areas. And really, as you've heard, that has been the focus of the last two years. You've heard about the many physicians that have been recruited, the special programs that are being put in place, and the new buildings that are coming up. Let me just focus on one last aspect of this partnership, which is academics. Uh, already, you've been well accomplished in education of residents and other trainees, of clinical trials research, but together you've really embraced and enhanced the academic mission of UPMC and the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, for example, with respect to genetics, already in this region, with us and others, patients are starting to get actionable DNA information to improve patient care. But this really is just scratching the surface. UPMC, including UPMC Susquehanna region, are one of four centers that are leading the nation with a one million person whole genome sequencing effort by the National Institutes of Health. Here we are exploring about a hundredfold more deeply sort of the dark recesses of the genome where the real answers to health and disease lie. You've also partaking in our next generation leading edge research on cancer immunotherapy or uh, the ability to transplant organs, hopefully without the need for immunosuppression, and also to help develop drugs to prevent aging. That got a little bit of attention. <laughs> uh, so I really just want to thank particularly my physician colleagues for your commitment to patient care. We couldn't be more proud to partner with you. But I also really want to stress that this is a unique model, that the academic and community partnership between UPMC and the UPMC Susquehanna region is a national model. And it's where tomorrow's medicine will be delivered to the Susquehanna region today. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce back to the podium your leader, Steve Johnson. Well, thank you, Mr. Romoff, Ms. Davis, Ms. Pepperman, and Dr. Shapiro for those eloquent remarks describing both the challenges and the opportunities and the extraordinary potential that lie ahead and the work that our doctors and nurses are doing every day, have done every day, and will continue to do every day for centuries to come. To compete in this disruptive and ever-changing healthcare market, we must offer the very best that science has to offer, combined with time-honored values of respect, compassion, and easy access. Together with UPMC, we are investing in the future of healthcare to build exactly this kind of better, bigger, brighter future right here in North Central Pennsylvania. And today we mark a new chapter in this transformational journey. It is now my honor and privilege to announce two groundbreaking initiatives which will bring the next level of life-changing medicine to our region. The first is our Cancer Center at Divine Providence. Beginning this winter, the Cancer Center will undergo a $13 million expansion and renovation 
project to transform it from an outstanding, award-winning, comprehensive community cancer center into a visionary, world-class program known as UPMC Hillman Cancer Center. The Hillman name has become synonymous with the best cancer care, the most advanced research, and the best cancer physicians available anywhere in the world. The synergy of our combined resources and talent will improve access to innovative, new early detection and precision medicine treatments, advanced scientific tools, and minimally invasive techniques to help patients win their battles against this horrible disease. Now let's take a moment and look at the future of cancer care here in North Central Pennsylvania. exciting new element to the organization and to the service available here locally. Now, at the core of the second initiative is our investment in resources designed to advance emergency critical and comprehensive physical medicine and rehabilitation care across the region. Last year, our Williamsport campus began a three-year journey to become a trauma center. We began this journey by recruiting six leading trauma and critical care surgeons to spearhead this transition. In addition to their extraordinary life-saving work, our laboratories, imaging services, operating rooms, physician specialists, and indeed our entire critical care support family is building a whole new 24-7 service model. This past year was incredibly successful. And today, we announce a significant next step in this journey. Beginning next spring, right here on this spot, with the continued support of you as the community and of our UPMC family partners, we will build a 120,000 square foot, $100 million facility designed to support Williamsport Hospital's full transformation into a trauma center and usher in a new era of comprehensive physical medicine and rehabilitation services to the region. This building will create new operating rooms, new medical and surgical suites, a new critical care nursing unit, 30 new single occupancy comprehensive physical medicine and rehabilitation patient rooms, and a new diagnostic reference laboratory. Now, take a moment with me and share this vision. Feel free to give that a round of applause as well. Not, not really for my comments, but just the quality of that video. I just really like those, uh, how, how they can build that work out. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. So with the continued legacy of support, coupled with the extraordinary leadership of UPMC, 
and our highly capable medical and clinical staff, supported by our extraordinary league of employee partners, these new facilities are just the beginning. They represent the talent, the compassion, and the commitment of a new generation of caregivers positioned to deliver the art of caring and the science of healing throughout the region for the next 100 years. Together, our care becomes unmatched, unparalleled, uncommon to the core, making our future brighter and our collective tomorrows healthier. Together, we are stronger. Together, we are reducing the lifetime cost of health care in the region. Together, we are providing the highest quality, safest care available. Together, we are improving access and convenience and specialty services. Together, we are shaping the future of health care. And together, we are bringing life-changing medicine to North Central Pennsylvania. Thank you again for joining us on this exciting occasion. Please stick around and ask some questions. Network with your colleagues and your friends. Have some refreshments and enjoy some live uh, music entertainment by Williamsport's highly accomplished jazz guitarist, David Brumbaugh. Now, for those of you not familiar with David, I just need a quick introduction here. Uh, he is the founder and executive director of the award-winning Uptown Music Collective, and he personally is a very, very accomplished jazz guitarist. Uh, he's coached countless numbers of young musicians around the world uh, to become both professional performers and or lifetime music lovers. Thank you again for joining us. Enjoy the afternoon. God bless.